Hi, this is Reese from Creative Serum. In previous videos, we've been showing you how you can do web forms and Facebook leads. Today, we're going to be doing the e-commerce site. As a lot of companies out there wanting to actually use the e-commerce site and bring it back into the CRM, A, to allow all users to see the, the buys in one location and all their invoices and different things like that, and also to empower the process as well. For example, the e-commerce only can do one thing very well, but one thing is to take orders. The rest you want to do follow-up calls um, and other elements that you would may need to have in, that integrates your e-commerce and a CRM to be effective tool um, for your business. So this is how we can show you how it works. So for this example, we're going to be using Shopify, which is an e-commerce site. We've added about five products on here. So for example, how it would look um, and the user's point of view, you've got five products when they go to the website, they can choose one of these products here and add to the cart and so forth and process the order here. Now what we're going to do is just order it um, internally so that the user can go through and order these phone systems and send them out and, and add them to the um, order. So let's go internally into the system and just create an order. So we're just going to really quickly click an order here and we've done a few orders, but we're going to create a new order, browse, and we're going to go all orders, and we're just going to choose a few. So we're going to choose a, I guess we can do a 65 and a D70, add to cart, add two or three of those and two of those, and just go and note this. Oops, cancel that. This is a test. We're going to link to a customer in here, so it's going to be John Smith here, and that's got a shipping address in there. And we're going to now just uh, save as draft, and then just uh, mark as paid. And that's going to now. So what we've done is we've got actually a inside the settings down here we've got actually a web hook that every order that is placed will be sent across so that means that when we actually um, do an action inside of here it will then um, our system will pick up this process and follow through and do the workflow section that we've designed for that so we're going to go into create and i'm going to show how we actually develop the uh, workflow. So we get into workflow and we've done a number of webhooks beforehand so we're just going to go to the one that we have which is going to be a new order inside of Shopify which is this one here. Now what we've done is a fairly extensive one this one which is quite um, intense but what we've done a number of things where when the order comes through it will create a quote itself and we've d decided to do a few things from a quote and a sales order. So what we're demonstrating is that we can actually do a number of actions from one order. So when you're actually uh, inside of um, the system here, so when you're inside of Shopify and it does an order, we can also create invoices and send them out and even um, push them into, let's say, MYB. So the key thing about that is it just streamlines the whole process of your element. Now, probably the key thing is that we've done in this example is done a, um, a quote is for those people who want to go from quotes to sales orders or even this example as well usually people want to go from a when they process an order it goes to the sales order for them to then push it out to the, um, the accounts where you may have a warehouse from in Australia or overseas where the e-commerce site then push it gets the order and then it goes uh, uh, for uh, pushes into your warehouse for people to pick and then process it in scale. And then there's other elements we, we can do is one is that we can create a follow-up task for you to actually call up that person just to confirm the order as well so that could be you can actually just do a follow-up call and this particular one you can also create a workflow campaign sending a series of emails across so that means is that your county system sorry your Shopify can when you get an order put it into an automatic email or drip campaign inside of um, create a CRM so I'll show you how that works now so we've done that order for John Smith let's go to John Smith the contact itself so from that order we can see that um, in the sales you've got 
all these different, um, for example, quotes. And this is a quote here, this recent one that was sent across, and that was for a D65 and a D70. And there's a quote. Also, we've decided to also create a order, which is in this section here that is for um, there's a test that is giving the guys the ability to send that order to that person and that person can ship to that contact there as well. Um, other elements we've done is in that process we've also in the workflow we've done something like in the sales section or in the jobs we've created a follow-up call so that the person can continue to follow up that person by saying calling them up and then not getting through to the person and then making second follow-up and third follow-up as well. The final thing we've done as well inside the work uh, workflow is in the marketing section here is we've added to the drip marketing called the workflow section which is the Shopify test and that would send a series of emails across. Now so that shows you that you can actually go from Shopify and um, order all these elements inside of Shopify um, or your e-commerce site and then push it directly into the system for the, um, the users to start picking and processing the orders and even pushing into the currency system. So we'll kind of create it as not only just a link to the e-commerce site that we have and we'll show you the document. So for example, um, see here that you've got the e-commerce site. What we can do is push it into the creator serum, do its process, um, make follow-up calls, and then we can push it to a county system, let's say MYB, Reckon, or whatever it is, and allowing to fuse those technologies together and bring other elements into the system and really bring everything into one location. So I hope that helps. Sorry about the bad audio there. I noticed it was when I uh, checked it out, it was going a bit hummy. But look, you know, the key thing is we're just trying to get out the information out quick as possible because we're doing a lot of work inside of Creator and um, a lot of people are asking for this. So that shows you that how easy it is to bring the e-commerce site inside of Creator and push it across to other systems. Hope that helps and um, look at other videos and, and like the site as well. Thanks. Bye.